the evolution of our machine, as I said, we bought the Gemini concept. That was the first split keyboard concept. Uh, before I bought the company, uh, my standard operating procedure is to ask users that had it, what do you like about it? What's good about it? Why do you have it? But more importantly, to ask people that didn't like it. Why did you try it? Why didn't it work for you? And there was a variety of answers that came up. The machine was originally designed exclusively for captures. It had no backups. It had no batteries. It, it, it had very little adjustment, nothing that the user could do directly. It all had to be done at, at manufacturing time. So working with these users, um, it, it became apparent we needed to have a machine that had, that had memory, that had a battery system. I invest, started investing in the company in October of 2003, and by January of 2004, we had acquired the Gemini Rider and had our first prototype of that system out. By April of that year, we'd gone ahead and released our first machine with a battery, with a memory, but it was still a Gemini, so it's touch and it's sound. It was noisy and it lacked physical adjustments for depth and for force, um, but it, what it did provide was the ability for users that had medical issues, uh, ulnar nerve, nerve pain, neck and shoulder issues, uh, carpal tunnel, those kind of issues to have a rider to work from. And that's what got us started. So for the next um, almost seven years exclusively, we manufactured ergonomic machines. First the Gemini, then the Gemini Piper, which incorporated color into the machine, again for choice. It didn't have to be a, a stodgy and dry environment. It could be fun. You spend a lot of time with this machine, so it may as well reveal your personality no different than, in this case, it's a woman-dominated industry. Uh, a purse would, would speak to who they are. From the uh, Gemini Piper, we incor incorporated it, um, internal Bluetooth, and then we moved into a revolution family of product. And that was, that was our first delve into machines that were quiet, that operated quietly. We redesigned the entire mechanics of the machine. We redesigned the entire electronics of the machine. Um, so now it was articulated, more like a traditional machine. And that provided an uptick in our, in our sales and acceptance because there was no learning curve really to get used to the machine. Uh, the Revolution Grand was our next part of that Revolution family, still based on optical sensors, and the Revolution Grand was my personal first mechanical design.